Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I join you in wishing all the best in his impending retirement to James Mackay and Beth? He has been a friend to many of us right throughout this House, and we congratulate him for his service. Can I also join the Prime Minister in congratulating uh, Jake uh, Whiteman for his success overnight in winning the 1500 metres at the World Champions. What a fantastic achievement. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this week has seen historic records set across the United Kingdom. But let us look at the Prime Minister's record breaking efforts in office. His Tory Brexit slashed £31 billion from the economy, the biggest fall in living standards since the 1970s. People's pay in real terms falling at the fastest rate on record, with the worst economic growth forecast in the G20 outside Russia, and the highest inflation in 40 years. Personally, I would like to thank the Prime Minister, in his capacity as Minister of the Union, for driving support for independence to new heights. Mr Speaker, Westminster is holding Scotland back. The economy is failing, and this Prime Minister has driven us to the brink of a recession. Isn't it the case that the Prime Minister's legacy of catastrophic mismanagement has paved the way for the end of the Union? Mr Speaker, that's not what I uh, observe. And he talks about records. I'll point to the, the fastest vaccine rollout in Europe, lowest unemployment, as I said, uh, for uh, at or near 50 years, the lowest youth unemployment, fastest growth in the G7 uh, last year, in spite of everything. That, that's for the Scottish uh, national, nationalist record. Just look at, look at where, uh, where, where they are. They're, I'm afraid to say Scottish uh, school standards are not what they should be because of the failure uh, of the SNP. Uh, they're, failing, they're, failing, they're failing people uh, who are tragically addicted, addicted to drugs, uh, Mr Speaker, in Scotland. And the people of Scotland are facing another £900 million in tax because of the mismanagement of the SNP. I mean, the, fact the Prime Minister might believe that nonsense, but the people of Scotland don't, because they know the reality that our NHS is the best performing in the United Kingdom, and education standards under the SNP are moving in the right direction. Mr Speaker, that's a, that's a good look to the people of Scotland, the disdain that the Tories show for our country. Mr Speaker, I hope that the Prime Minister has time to reflect on his conduct in office with all his new spare time, and I genuinely hope that he finds some peace of mind. The fact is though, that, as well as a record-breaker, the Prime Minister is a rule-breaker, illegally shutting down Parliament, parting through the pandemic handing out PPE contracts to cronies, yep. unilaterally changing the ministerial code. Yep. And let us not forget, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is still under investigation because he can't be trusted to tell the truth. Shameful, disgraceful and a complete waste of Scotland's time. This is how the people of Scotland will remember this Prime Minister. Isn't it the case that the Prime Minister and his government should have had its last day a long time ago. Quite simply, Downing Street is no place for a lawbreaker. Uh, well, look, Mr. Speaker, I, I think on the, the points, he's, the personal abuse stuff. I, I think he's talking a load of tosh. But when he's when he's up, yes, but when he's up when he's up in his, when he's retired to uh, the, 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 his croft. Uh, <laughs> Which may be all too soon, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I hope that he will reflect on his long-running campaign to break up the greatest country in the world, yeah. and uh, I hope he will reflect on the on the pointlessness of what he uh, is trying to do, and, and think instead about the priorities of the people of Scotland, which I think are about all the issues uh, that he thought were trivial, about their education, about crime, Mr. Speaker, and about the about the burden uh, of taxation that they are unnecessarily placing on the people of Scotland. <laughs>